Welcome to the build. I got a utility trailer from Harbor Freight and Tools. Uh, this is the 1720. Uh, 1720 pounds capacity. Um, here's how it comes. Two big old boxes. That's a, that's a trailer. That's a 4x8 trailer, folks. I'll take you through this and uh, we'll go ahead and put it together together. Let me go ahead and get some of this stuff unboxed first. And we'll see what this is all about. $399. I just bought a 4x8 sheet of real nice plywood. That'll be the floor for the trailer. And uh, see what happens. Come with me, won't you? <laughs> Contents of the first box. Got a couple of leaf springs, two tires, a box full of the lighting, lighting and wiring kit, and the brackets. The other box has some of the uh, stake bed brackets, and then some uh, U bolts and brackets for attaching the axle, a couple of uh, wheel covers, three big ass, three big ass boxes, bags of uh, bolts and nuts. Uh, I don't know what these are for right here. I'll find that out in a little bit. Then of course there's the, uh, the ball receiver or the ball, whatever you want to call it, with the chains. Okay, that's the first box. On to box two. Whoops, I'm sorry, box one. <laughs> that's okay. We'll call this box two now. Let me open it up. Oh, and also, the directions to build it. I think I'll be reading these though. I don't know if you follow my videos, I really don't read the directions. But this one I'm gonna. <laughs> That's what to point out. Got this other box lid off. And I, you know, if this trailer gets scratched, it's your own fault. Because it's packed in there pretty good. Everything's separated. It looks like everything's separated with bubble wrap. I just wanted to go ahead and show that before I took it apart. I had this packed pretty good. Okay, let me get to it. Box number two is empty. Well, really, box number one, but... <laughs> box number two is empty. There's the contents of box number one. And we got box number two right here. bunch of stuff. These are the rollers that this thing rolls around on. This thing will collapse and uh, you can actually store it in your garage if you want. I mean, it's that small. Uh, it has all the uh, all the bits and pieces that you need to put this thing together which is what we will start doing here in a, in a minute. One thing that I was really concerned about in Georgia um, I thought this was considered a homemade trailer. However, <laughs> this thing actually has a title and you actually transfer it from the manufacturer's name to yours after you get done building it and all. And it has a VIN number. So you don't have to go through all the BS. Like I said, in Georgia, you have to, you have, to have a cop take a look at it and certify that it's assembled and all that stuff. All you gotta do is take your, your bill of sale or your receipt and the, the uh, title over to uh, the license plate place 
and uh, give them both of those and then they'll go ahead and give you a license plate and they'll send out for a title which I think is cool you don't have to go through all the BS I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling this now and uh, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll check on progress every once in a while stay tuned <laughs> I'm um, laying out these uh, frame rails so I can go ahead and attach them. And what I'm noticing is there's holes on top of here that match up that match up to the holes that you need to draw drill into the wood uh, for if you're putting a, a, a floor on this thing like like I'm doing so instead of instead of going ahead and putting bolts on both the top and bottom of those frame rails what I think I'm going to do is just use the, the kit bolts on the bottom of the rails to go ahead and just mock it up and then when I get done building these two frames it calls for building the front frame first then the back frame when I get done building these what I'm going to do is go ahead and lay them on top of this what's going to be the floor and then use the existing holes in there to mark my marks in the in the wood and then what I'm going to do is instead of using the kit bolts to attach um, the plywood to the floor, to the plywood to the frame rails, rather, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these carriage bolts that I picked up. These are 3 8 by, um, what are they, 3 8 by inch and a half. Um, that seems to be the best thing. So on the bottom, and so in, in review, on the bottom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach it with the kit, the bolts uh, that came with the kit. And then on the top of the, of the frame rails, I'm going to actually use the, uh, the carriage bolts along with uh, the trimmed piece of, of uh, plywood. So I have to, I have to go ahead and and build the, the frames first, just using the, the one set of bolt, the one bolt on each each corner, and build the front, the front and the rear, and then go ahead and cut the plywood and attach the plywood on the top using the bolts after I get done marking my, my holes. If that makes sense to you? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it sounds, you can make sense better than I can because it doesn't sound right coming out. But we'll see what happens. We'll give you an update as soon as I get going on this. Trailer update! Okay, here's what I did. Instead of assembling this frame without, uh, just by itself, what I did is I went ahead and I assembled it on the board and I drew a line here to go ahead and give me a straight line to make the cut on the board. Um, I could not get these corners squared up if my life depended on it so I decided to use the square of the board to go ahead and make my square. So next step is I went ahead and I drilled holes at the marks this is upside down now. Drill holes to go ahead and mount these, this frame rail in. And I put a couple bolts in and tighten them down so I can make my, my cut line over there. And what I'll do is I'll cut, cut the board and then go ahead and reassemble this and finish assembling this one half. 
then I'll have a perfect half to go ahead and assemble the other side. Um, this right here is the tongue. It goes right here, it comes out here, and then it attaches somewhere out here. And uh, that's the trailer update. I'll get back to you as soon as I get further. Just another quick update. Mm. Went ahead and I put my framework on this this board, bolted it in, and then went ahead and set up my uh, my guide board for my straight edge. Made my cut and didn't do too bad. It's right on the mark almost. So that worked out pretty good. So now I can go ahead and assemble the front half of the trailer. I'll give you another, another update when I get there. Well, it looks like the first step is done with. Um, what I did do, as I explained a little bit earlier, is instead of just going ahead and assembling the frame by itself, because I was having such a hard time getting this squared off, what I did is I assembled it on a half a sheet of, well, on a sheet of plywood. And I used this edge right here as the guide to, to cut the, uh, the plywood. Um, just went ahead and drew a line down and, and, and blocked up a, um, a jig. Um, but as you can see, everything went together. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a sturdy little piece. So kind of happy with this so far. Uh, I don't have any complaints. Oh, I wanted to show you this. Um, the bolts that come with this set. Yeah, be careful. I almost grabbed these bolts right here in place of these. And you can see we got three bolts and they kind of look the same, but they are different. These bolts are for the frame. I forget what these are for. And these are for to do those brackets right there, back up there. So you want to be careful because there's only two of this, two of these in the set. And if you misplace it somewhere, <laughs> you're going to have hell to pay to find it. So that's that. I'm setting up right now for the second step, which is, I'm not, well, this is the second step, which is building the other half. I'm not gonna do that right now. Since I got this thing on the table and ready to go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do the third step next, which includes putting the tongue on and uh, a couple other things. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump back to the second step so I can put the the plywood up here and everything. I'm telling you, it makes a world of difference to go ahead and assemble the frame on the plywood instead of assembling the frame by itself. This thing centers out and, um, I'm sorry, see, this thing squares out real nice if you do it this way. Now, everything's bolted down, it's all good to go. And I'm going to move on to the third step and then come back to the second step. I'll give you an update in a little bit. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I just almost had my little balloon deflated. I'm over here assembling the, the tongue and it calls for a part on the uh, instructions that goes up underneath the tongue. I don't know if you can see that right there. So this little part part right there that attaches to that and gets it all structurally sound and crunches it together. This is the part. I was looking for a, a red a red piece. <laughs> I was looking high and low, high and low. I uh I thought that we that I didn't get the part. Here's the other part that goes into this too. That goes there. I thought I didn't get the part. You know, I was 
prepared to go back to Harbor Freight and, and find out what's going on and see if they give me a new one. But anyways, started digging in the boxes and I actually did find it in one of the boxes. It's not red <laughs> like the rest of the trailer. It's just unpainted penis, penis, unpainted piece of steel. It's under, underneath of the trailer, so I guess you don't see it, so it'll just be okay. Okay, problem solved, and uh, onward and upward. My bad.